Hello everyone. Now that you've had a chance to watch the video about the big six, um, let's go ahead and conclude this lesson and go over the uh, steps of the big six process. So hello again, this is Ms. Stevens, your librarian. Um, as a reminder, the purpose of this lesson is to introduce the concept of the big six research process. The purpose of this video is to review the handout that corresponds with this lesson and provide an overview of the steps of the big six. And then our objective, students will be able to identify and explain the concept, purpose, and stages of the big six research process. So earlier in the lesson, we went over the concept and the purpose, but this video is going to focus on the stages of the big six research process, which is why that is highlighted. So the handout that you receive includes the name of each step in the big six process, that's in column one, a description of each step, that's column two, and a general explanation about what you need to do at each step in column three. So I will note that that is a general explanation, meaning that um, it can be modified and changed to um, fit different assignments and um, the different courses that you could be using um, this process with. So it's just a, gen a general explanation um, that again can be modified and changed. There are also several resources at the bottom of the handout. If you'd like um, additional information about the big six, the steps and what to do when completing each step. So big six, step one, that is task definition. This step is where you define the information problem, which is a fancy way of saying what you need to know or do or complete and identify the information you need to complete this task. So in that third column, you have um, a series of steps or what you should do. Um, so first, write a summary of the assignment in your own words. Make sure you understand what you need to do and what information you need. Determine the topic you're going to focus on and write questions to answer about your topic. And so a good rule of thumb for that is use the five W's, who, what, when, where, why, and then uh, your H, which is how. A big six step two, step two is information seeking strategies. So this is where you brainstorm all the possible resources, uh, or sources, excuse me, information sources you could use, and then select the quality sources that best meet the information tasks that you know that you are going to have to um, uh, successfully complete. So you want to make a list of all the sources you could use for this task, put a check mark next to the ones that you are able to access and use. So don't forget about all the resources, both print and digital that you have in the library. And then you want to rank these sources by which ones are most likely to provide um, quality information and give you enough information that you'll be able to successfully complete the task. Step three, location and access. This is where you're going to locate the sources that you need and find specific information within these sources. So you're gonna search the library catalog and the library's databases. You're gonna use the features of each source to help you find information, which might include um, indexes, table of contents, guide words, headings, bold print, etc. cetera. Um, and then you're gonna skim and scan sources to determine which ones to use. Step four, use of information. So at this step, you're going to interact with your resources, meaning that you're going to read, watch, or listen to your gathered sources, and then pull out, extract, that's a fancy word for pull out, the uh, relevant information from these sources. So first you're going to, like I said, engage, interact with those sources, read, watch, or listen to them. And then to extract, to pull out that relevant information, you're going to take notes. So it's important to make sure that you are taking notes that's relevant, that are relevant to your topic and you're finding information that's going to meet that information task. So you should always be paraphrasing that information. You should put it in your own words. You wanna make sure that you are writing um, not in complete sentences, but using bullet points, abbreviations. Um, this is, these are um, notes, again, that you're using um, for your project, but you wanna make sure that, again, you're putting it in your own words, um, that you're not just copying complete sentences from um, the sources. And then you also want to include the record the source information because that's very important um, uh, for citation information and for making sure that you credit the authors that you um, use information from. 
So step five is synthesis. This step, this step is where you're going to organize the information from all of the sources that you used and then present it. So synthesis is where you are pulling from different sources to create something new, right? So you're going to organize all this information from all these sources that you've gathered, and then you're going to create something new by presenting this information. So um, a great strategy is to create an outline or determine the key points that you're going to cover in your presentation, then organize your, uh, your work for your presentation uh, through that outline or, or that those key points that you've determined. And then uh, make sure that you have enough information to complete the assignment. This is a good step to um, assess and see, did I, um, did I get all the information that I need? If not, make sure that you do. Uh, determine uh, how you're going to present the information last. So include a list of citations and cite all sources in this presentation as well. And then finally, the final step is evaluation. So at this step, you're going to judge the product that you created and the process. Um, so it's important to remember that you're going to do this at the end of your project, but also you're going to do this continuously throughout your research. So think about um, comparing your project to the task that you defined in stage one. Did you meet all those requirements? You identified that information, um, that information task that information problem at the beginning of this process. So did your project actually meet that problem and solve that problem? Um, and then you're gonna reflect on the overall process of completing the assignment. So thank you for watching this introduction lesson to the big six. Remember the big six steps are, first, task a, a definition, second, information seeking strategies, third, location access, fourth, use of information, fifth, synthesis, and sixth, evaluation. The six steps in this process are helpful when conducting research in all of your classes, but it's also a process that you can use to complete any tasks that require you to find, use, and evaluate information. Please keep your handout so that you can reference it during future assignments and projects, and feel free to take the quiz again to see how much you've learned during this lesson. Thank you.